All right, hello everyone, Rob here with ScrappyDoo.com, and in this video we're gonna sort of show you how to do this. The question was asked, is there a way to make dashed lines? Uh, fairly simple, uh, in, you know, sure cuts a lot for. Well, the answer is, it is, it is kind of easy, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right here. Now, of course, if you're a first time viewer of the ScrappyDoo channel here, make sure you subscribe, because we do a lot of videos, all right? And if you're into learning and you wanna know when new ones come out, Go ahead and subscribe because that's the way that you get notified about it. All right, so we're in Shortcuts Lot 4, and I'm going to go ahead and use this pencil tool here. And you're going to notice that I have the freehand smoothing set to 100. What does that do for me? But uh, makes my line smooth if I happen to make them jagged, as you can see right there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and undo that. So with the pencil selected, I'm going to go ahead and basically draw a little squiggly line of how the butterfly pattern should look when they're flying for example but uh, that's what we have now the next thing that we need to do is we need to have a rectangle right so this is going to be our path that we're going to be placing uh, rectangles on but uh, we're not going to do the rectangles individually but uh, we will have the program assist us so I'm gonna go ahead and draw out a rectangle alright so there it is I am going to color it in so we can see it I'm gonna go ahead and color that black there we go alright so with the rectangle selected and I'm gonna hold the shift button down here uh, with that path selected, I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the effects menu and object on path uh, what we're going to do next is click Auto Preview. And now you can see that it has snapped one of those right down there. However, we need a couple more. So I'm going to go ahead and select this, fill path length. And it looks kind of just like a big blob. But uh, don't worry, we're going to fix this by with spacing, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and keep on clicking. Uh, that looks really good to me. Now, of course, you can leave it like it is. Or you could uh, click this button right here that says warp to path and when you do that it sort of bends these as you can see if I were to unclick it how it's just a straight line there but if you click warp to path it sort of bends it right there uh, now another thing that uh, you may want to do is if you have some overlapping pieces you may have some overlapping pieces uh, you can go ahead and click the weld and then we're done I'm gonna go ahead and click OK now we have the uh, the dash line as you can see and I just turned it off and I really don't need this anymore so I can go ahead and delete it and let me turn back on that dash line so that's sorta of how you can create uh, the dash line effect inside shortcuts a lot for alright so hopefully you enjoyed this lesson um, like I said make sure you subscribe to our channel we also have a classroom uh, with with tons and tons of videos over shortcuts a lot for if you're just trying to learn it a lot of great people have said a lot of good things about it and we have over four hours of video lessons with it all right so go ahead check that out and we'll see you next time thanks for watching